Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at all the Warhammer products available to pre-order this coming Saturday. It was an action-packed day yesterday as we got to see the new Astra Militarum army set, the new way to play 40k that I'm really excited about, and the next instalment of Kill Team Shadow Vaults. And check this out, the new Kill Team Shadow Vaults is going to be available to pre-order from this Saturday onwards. So how mad is that? came around really soon and I know they said in the preview yesterday that it's going to be available very soon but I didn't think it would be this week so pretty good news I guess so let's have a look at all the other products and it's not just Kill Team although there is some awesome Kill Team products that we haven't seen in any of the previews yesterday or in any articles leading up to this week as well so I'll make sure we cover that in the video as well so let's get started and we'll have a look at all the products that are available if there's anything you like from this week's selection, then please consider pre-ordering with Firestorm Games. They're my sponsor and a big thank you to them for sponsoring the channel and helping me to keep going with these daily videos. I'll put a link to their website in the description down below. And if you follow that link, you can save up to 20% on all your products there. You'll also support me here on the channel as I'll get a small commission from every sale made. So thanks so much for that support in advance. I really appreciate it. And it'd be great if you could check out their website. I'm actually heading up to Firestorm Games in Cardiff this Saturday, the 15th of October. So really looking forward to seeing the store in person. And there's a tournament on this weekend as well. So looking forward to seeing that. Right, let's get started and we'll get going with Kill Team Shadow Vault. I can't believe this is available now. It seems way too quick. This doesn't fit in with the roadmap at all, does it? I was expecting it to be around December time. So very surprised to get it this early. I really didn't expect to be painting anything else for a couple of weeks as I'm finishing off my book that's going to be available to pre-order really soon as well. More on that coming later this week. But yeah, Shadow Vaults is here. So great. We're going to get hold of the Kazakin, which I can't wait for. A great looking kill team. Ten awesome models. And it's brilliant to get them so soon after the reveal. So this is going to be great. Can't wait to get these painted up. I'm going to go for a different colour scheme though. I'm not painting them as Cadians as you see there. We've also got the Hyratech Circle. So this is the Necrons who they'll be going up against. And we've got some more pictures of the Necrons in today's preview article or pre-order article. So that's great. We can have a better look at just what we can expect. Here's that picture and it confirms in the article today exactly what's happening with the Necrons. So we're going to get an upgrade sprue for the Immortals and Death Marks. And that sprue also makes the new Plasmakite Reanimator, Plasmakite Accelerator and the Apprentec model. So there are some new models and this upgrade sprue, but some of the others are older models. So nothing really that new, not a completely new kill team. I think that would have been nice to have two brand new ones, especially when you consider the terrain is the same terrain that came with the Into the Dark box set. So although I'm happy to get this because it's going to be perfect for Warhammer 40,000, um, even so, it would have been nice to have two brand new kill teams completely new. These terrain pieces are a little bit different though, so we haven't seen these before. These are brand new. These are going to be the Heavy Bolt, a Sentry Turret, and the Bomb Carrying Robotic Crawler. So there we go. And there's also those scatter pieces of terrain, which will work as weapon stashes that are going to tie into the mission rules that you'll get in the book. You'll get the Shadow Vaults book and also some transfers. You didn't see it here, but we saw it in the preview yesterday. And I guess as this week progresses now, we're going to see more articles on the Warhammer community site going into detail about some of the rules perhaps. So really looking forward to that and I'll certainly be sharing it here with you on the channel. Next up for Kill Team are the Kill Team dice sets. One for the Kazakin and one for the Necrons. And they've gone a, a little bit better here. These certainly look a lot nicer, the marbled effect. So that's really cool. Not sure I like the logos though. I'm not a fan of the dice from Kill Team at the moment. I'm always complaining about them each week. And although I like the marble effect, yeah, not really sold on the two logos that they've used on the six side here. Plus, I don't know why they put 20 dice in a box for Kill Team. I don't think you need that many unless I'm completely missing something. I've just been playing with like six dice at most. Next are some Kill Team playing cards. Now, we haven't heard anything about these, or at least I haven't up until now. And there isn't an awful lot on the article today telling us about them. It literally says these playing cards are great for any fan of the fast-paced skirmish game. They feature artwork from the Kill Team Octarius, Kill Team Chalnath, Morok, Nachman books, and a great 
for both playing cards with and generating a Space Hulk using the rules featured in Kill Team Into the Dark. These playing cards have been slightly delayed in Japan. That's it. That's all they tell us. So we don't get to see what's on the actual cards, just that they're great for both playing cards with and generating a Space Hulk using the rules featured in Into the Dark. So there we are. Hopefully we'll get an article in the week and again I'll update you when we do. That's it for Kill Team. Now we're on to Adeptus Titanicus Match Play Guide. And so this is a book for anyone interested in playing in the Adeptus Titanicus tournaments. So this is for the Horus Heresy and it features six deployment maps, five are brand new and you're going to get new primary and secondary objectives for Titan Legios and night households in match play games and then they also give you some advice to run your own tournaments rules for doubles and narrative events rules for references for weapons titan traits orders and psychic powers too next are some weapon upgrades that are going to be available from the forge world web store and the first of these is the warlord titan graviton ruinator then there's the Reaver Titan Graviton Destructor. And finally, the Warhound Titan Graviton Destructor. Let's head over to Middle Earth now, and there's a host of miniatures here that have been previously released, and these are all going to be cast in metal. And the first of them is Boromir Mounted. Then there's the Blackroot Veil vale Commanders, followed by Elendil and Isildur. I can't say that very well. Then we've got Haradrim King, then Mahud King, Mahud Raiders, and those camels are pretty awesome actually, they look great. And finally, the Mahud Warrior Warband, and they look pretty good too, but that camel has got to be one of the best models this week, I think. Next up, we've got a completely new range of Citadel tools, and they're going to be starting with the super fine detailed cutters. So... That's handy, actually, because some of them are a little bit chunky, those cutters. So it'd be nice to get some finer ones. Then there's a mold line remover. So this has got a little notch in it, which isn't on the previous ones. And that's designed to help tidy up the base rim. So that's a really neat idea. I like that. Then there's a knife with some spare blades as well. Six replacement bra uh, blades all together. And finally, there's the hand drill for getting those uh, bolters drilled out, which is something I really should do. I don't do that as often as I should, for sure. But there we go. New tools for the Citadel tools range. Next is White Dwarf. Nice looking cover this week. And this is issue 481. And here we're going to see new campaign rules for Age of Sigmar. You can unleash a destroyer heavy Necron's army with new Warhammer 40,000 rules. And then you've also got the Horus Heresy Battle Report and a Warhammer Horror Short Story. And I wonder what freebies will be included this month for Halloween. Looking forward to finding out soon. Over to the Black Library now with the first book, War of the Fang by Chris Ray. I've just finished this actually a couple of weeks ago. Great book, really enjoyed it. And so awesome, awesome book. Can highly recommend it, especially if you're a Space Wars fan. And this is going to be a luxury special edition version. It certainly looks nice from this image. And I guess there's going to be 1,500 copies. And it looks like they're all signed as well by the author. But it doesn't say in the article exactly how many or that it will be signed, but I'm just going by that picture there, and so I'm just assuming that is the case. Next is Void King, a rogue trader's novel by Mark Collins. This is available as a hardback, ebook, and audiobook formats. Then there's Briar Dark, a Warhammer horror novel by C.L. Werner. This is available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook. Then there's The Twice Dead King Reign by Nate Crowley. And this or Crowley, and this is going to be coming out as a paperback. I'm not even attempting to say the French names here, but it's Day of Ascension by Adrian Tchaikovsky, and this is released in French as paperback and ebook. Also, Luther, First of the Fallen by Gav Thorpe. That one's going to be in hardback and ebook versions. Germany's getting some releases too, starting with Araman Eternal. This one is going to be in paperback and ebook. And finally, the Horus Heresy Omnibus, also available in paperback and ebook. 
That just leaves Warhammer Plus, where you'll get some Dark Angels Legion from Lawmaster, a Zombie Flesh Masterclass from Citadel Colour, and some White Dwarfs being thrown into the Warhammer Vault. So there you go, that's this week's Warhammer pre-orders preview, and I didn't expect to see Shadow Vaults, what a big surprise. I'll certainly be getting it, can't wait to see the new rules for the Necrons actually, really looking forward to them getting some updated rules, because the compendium rules aren't that great for them, and I think they can be a lot better, especially when you consider how many people have got Necrons, it'd be great to give them some proper good rules, and then the Kazakin of course, they're going to be really fun to get built, painted up, and play in in the Gallo Dark, can't wait for that, and with this extra terrain, perfect for the new way to play 40k when those rules come out. I'd love to hear what you think about this set being available so early, and is there anything else from the other products we saw that have caught your eye? Let me know in the comments section below, be great to hear what you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching, please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible and if you're interested in joining the community it'd be awesome to see you there and I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>